since Eliza Holmes was a little girl, she dreamt of starring in big productions like Beauty and the Beast. I was the role of Lumiere, who's the candlestick. Yeah. And that costume was really cool. I got to wear a gold unitard, and it was all hand-painted. It was gorgeous. Yeah, it was beautiful. But it got really hot on stage. <laughs> The musical was put on by Moco Arts and Keene, a nonprofit arts education organization focused on kids from 18 months to 18 years old. Our mission is transforming lives through movement and creative expression. Reagan Messer is the executive director. The former Boston Ballet soloist also teaches dance. Make sure you really use the bodies through it. Ballet is one of five disciplines in the dance program. Kids also take jazz, hip-hop, modern, and tap. While some of these kids may make it big, fame and fortune aren't the goal here. For us, if they go on to be professional dancers or on to Broadway actors, that's fantastic, but that's not what we're about. <clears throat> We're about teaching the life skills for the kids and setting them up for life, you know, teaching them the discipline, the dedication, the teamwork, the creative thinking, the perseverance. It's made a big difference in Eliza's life. The high school senior started at MoCo when she was just two. Just over the years dancing and being in shows, I've gained tremendous confidence because when I was younger, I used to be very shy and I would like get very upset whenever I would mess up or wasn't able to do something right away. But from dancing and doing musical theater, I've learned that it's okay to make mistakes and that it's all like a learning process. Jump around you. All the way around in a big circle, good fun, all the way around. And the little mice look scared. Eliza started in the Young Arts Program, where the emphasis is on basic movement. Kids start dancing before they can talk and before they can really move. You watch them, they start wiggling with music, so dance is so in them. So they get moving, they start to enjoy it. Eliza was hooked. The program sparked an interest and a passion for the arts. I remember when I was younger and I would see the older girls play leads in the dance and theater shows and I was like, oh, someday that's going to be me and it felt so far away and now it's like actually a reality and it's just crazy to think of how far I've come when I used to dream about being a lead and now I actually can. Henry Wichland shares those same dreams. At 12, he's already landed some key roles in productions like Frozen Junior and A Christmas Carol. His mom has seen him blossom. He's more confident into himself. He um, is, he um, advocates more for himself. He's more um, organized. What I want you to do there is put your arm around Maggie and cross downstage with her like you're plotting. And when they start plotting, the three of you can leave. With 700 to 800 kids taking classes each year, MoCo needed more space. After a $5 million capital campaign, the organization moved into this brand new two-story building a block away in downtown Keene. And at 17,000 square feet, it's more than double the size. They now have three studios and a theater, which seats up to 200 people. Longtime student Georgie Bittenbender says the upgrade improves performances. It's definitely different um, for, for theater especially. We get to rehearse in the space that we're performing in. As in, like this was for the black box in the old studio, we would take the studio and then turn it into the black box. And now we have where we get to perform, so it's a lot easier for blocking and everything like that. MoCo now wants to reach more kids, especially those who don't have access to the arts. We believe that it's, the arts are vital for every child, and every child should have the chance, no matter what their means are. It's not, the arts are not for the rich. 
In fact, MoCo doesn't turn anyone away. The nonprofit gives out $79,000 a year in tuition assistance. And like Lumiere, the character Eliza plays in Beauty and the Beast, the opportunity may just light up a kid's world. I feel like when I'm on stage, I'm just filled with so much joy, and that is definitely a big part of it, but also the community I've built here too.